Hi, my name is Brad Kamarmi. I'm an officer here at Max Pro Technologies, and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to put together a coned and threaded connection. Uh, so I have some equipment here on the table in front of me. I have the Max Pro Technologies Power Cube. This unit is rated for 30,000 psi. It has a low pressure fill pump and a high pressure pump. Um, and then I have the Max Pro Technologies Pressure Logger. This is also rated to 30,000 and allows you to digitally record your pressure test. So what I'll be doing in this video is using a nipple that we made here and connecting the two together. Uh, again, all these products are in stock and available for shipment. We can make the nipple for you and we have a wide selection of tubing in stock for whatever your pressure needs are. Okay, so here I'm at the quarter inch auxiliary port on the power cube. This is quarter inch high pressure and I've removed the plug and gland out of there. Um, I have the 30K transducer which is wired to the logger and it also has a quarter inch high pressure connection. Um, I have an open ended torque wrench, just an adjustable wrench, the nipple we made up, and a couple collars and glands. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the gland and put it on the tubing past the threads. Then take your collar and thread it onto the left-handed threads on the tube. You want to thread it on to you're roughly in the middle. You want a little thread shown on each side. You don't need to bury it in one direction or have it hanging off the end. Um, what I like to do is take a little bit of the Kluber loop. This is something you can get from MaxPro and put that just on the tip of your cone. It just helps it seat in there and prevent anything from galling. The next step is you want to take some anti-seize and put it on the thread of the gland itself. This just makes it a lot easier if you have to take it off and much more repeatable. So now at this point you take your tube and insert it into the female port on the fitting and thread the gland in finger tight. Once you get that to roughly the right location, check the orientation of your tube. Make sure that's where you're going to want to be. And now you're going to torque the gland down. For quarter inch high pressure, we want to go to 25 foot pounds. And all of this information is available on our website. And so that takes care of the first side of our nipple. Okay, so we're just going to repeat it on the other side of the nipple. Slip the gland on the tube and put the collar on the left-handed thread. And again, we're just going roughly to the middle of the tubing. We're going to take a little bit of the Kluber lube and just put a touch on the end of that cone to help it seat. And then we'll take a little bit of the jet lube, excuse me, anisees, and put it on the gland. Now we're going to take our transducer and thread the gland into it. Where you have a connection like this where it's not supported, it's really important to use a two-wrench two technique so that we're not putting all the stress on the tube. Um, so I'm just going to get the adjustable wrench on the transducer and put the torque wrench on the gland and tighten that to 25 foot-pounds. Okay, so at this point we now have the uh, pressure logger connected to the cube and we'll be ready for a pressure test. Um, there'll be more videos coming, so subscribe to our channel, call one of the engineers or salespeople here at MaxPro and they can help you set up your own pressure test system.